Hi guys, good morning and welcome to a new vlog. We're back to that vlog life. <laughs> Today is Monday morning and honestly it's been a very productive morning. I think it's currently about 10 a.m. I woke up quite early today guys the way i slept yesterday i feel like i was drugged somehow because like i just fell asleep so early i think i slept around 8 pm maybe that's why i woke up pretty early i woke up really early today i woke up since around um past 5 am so it's been productive like i slept so early last night i didn't even make dinner like it was just like me telling myself i wanted to just rest and i slept off so when i woke up i had to make breakfast quickly because i was hungry <laughs> anyway yeah i made breakfast and then i started working like my work is pretty easy um i don't know whether to say it's easy but like the challenge um is beginning today i filmed all the videos yesterday so yesterday was also a very productive day i filmed all the videos and i've been editing and uploading that's what i was doing before i fell asleep last night but i haven't finished so i'm continuing this morning i finished editing them right now though so i'm just left with uploading everything and i can email the students to let them know that um it's time to begin all the videos have been uploaded for them that's really what i've been doing this morning um i've also been attending to some inquiries as a business owner you're always getting inquiries from people you know for the kilishi and even for crochet particularly for crochet like items people that want to order crochet items so it's been good um now i just wanted to actually check in with you hmm. guys do you know what happened hmm. you know on saturday when i said i went to to computer village to fix my laptop i actually bought a pouch a phone pouch for my husband like i was even so proud of myself that i didn't buy a pouch for myself because guys i love to switch up my phone pouches like i feel like i have about 10 different phone cases maybe i'll show you later in this vlog but anyways i was so proud of myself that i didn't buy a new pouch for myself or like ah so i didn't buy a pouch for myself i was really proud of myself like ah first day <laughs> Because like computer village is where I buy my phone cases. So I was like, ah, first day that I'll go to computer village. I'll not buy a pouch for myself. I shall buy for my husband. Only for me to get home. And the pouch was not my for my husband's phone. It was for a 12 Pro. And his own phone is a 13 Pro. Sha, yeah, I was going to computer village today to do something. He was actually going to do something else. I wanted to follow him to go and change that pouch because I asked the lady when I told her she said ah it's for 13 pro now of course it didn't go with me which caused all this wahala anyway fingers crossed that she changes it for him but if she doesn't then hmm, we know the kind of person she is because I bought it on Saturday and his phone is not even 12 pro my phone is not 12 pro so what are we going to be doing with the pouch for a 12 pro that's right but anyway let me begin or let me continue my upload i don't know why my son is not allowing me rest um i'm going to just be crocheting while i upload the videos because i mean uploading is not something i need to <laughs> be doing anything for i just need to upload and leave it to upload so yeah i'll check in with you guys later that's all i need to do like now so yeah see you guys later Noon and I am packing for a trip. We're traveling tomorrow. Today is Tuesday, and apologies if you cannot hear me so well. My baby is actually sleeping, so I'm trying to keep my voice down while I catch up with you guys. So I'm just packing. Everywhere is a mess. I would have shown you. But, um, tomorrow is our trip, and honestly, guys. I'm overwhelmed today, this morning. There's just so much to do. Like, I just feel like things are always happening. Like in life, there's always something, something you're working on. Like, how are you going to balance everything? 
and it never really like there's no day when it will magically make sense unless like you are not here anymore there's always something to juggle there's always oh i'm trying to make this thing fit into my life properly i don't know if i'm explaining it well Sha, but like the whole thought is just really overwhelming i'm not going to lie like can they all end can i not have anything to do or can i just do whatever i want but like you, you can just do whatever you want especially as a married woman or as a mom even because like i need to attend to my baby's needs the home needs to be taken care of you know it's just i don't know Sha, sometimes it's not fun i'm not going to lie and then i'm trying to catch up with business you know there's just so much on my plates I was telling you yesterday about how I always have so many pouches from my phone. Let me show you guys. I have them in this night. There is one. Quite dark. I also have this plain one. This is the one I was using. But I'm going to change it up now. I have so many options. So why not? I have this. Uh, silicone one as well i have this as well black i have this pink one i really like this one because it's big and this is the very first one i bought when i bought my phone when i bought this one my husband was like why did you buy this pouch it is not your taste because it is so not my taste <laughs> but i should have bought it it's boring and guys i'm looking for my glasses i don't know if you guys remember the one i'm looking for it i don't know where i put it i'm just hoping it's in the house somewhere yesterday was so productive and the thing that really pains me is like when one part of my life is thriving it just seems like something else is falling short so like trying to find that balance is something that is really tiring but work-wise it was a very productive day very productive and like you just don't have to figure it out yourself nobody's coming to save you it's not going to magically fall into place you need to do the work of trying to balance out the things that are important to you and making sure you're not falling short anywhere it is just crazy honestly and right now my battery is even low so even though i'm trying to film content trying to film me packing i don't think i'll be able to do that so i'll probably just see you later in the day when i must have finished packing and yeah, we'll just probably catch up. So see you later. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can. Maybe I still want to come to Russia. I want to see if I can can't buy it. Just saying that. Guys, not me thinking. <laughs> Outside is going to be brighter. So I packed all my things and came out. But I think it's not as bright. So I'm going to go inside now just to see which is brighter and i'm actually eating noodles i don't like cold food so guys i think the video is brighter inside so i'm just going to chat with you guys here guys a lot has happened we're actually in ilori now i told you guys that we're traveling for eid so we traveled on um on tuesday today is thursday this Thursday, um, Eid is on Saturday, inshallah. And um, it's been a ride. I did, like, I'm going to be sharing with you guys something that happened. I delivered or we worked on some hats. It was a bulk order. Yes, I told you guys earlier. And the hats were the wrong size. So I've been having to, you know, fix them. Actually make new ones to meet up for the delivery, which is tomorrow. That is why I haven't vlogged much because i've just been really busy trying to fix the hats but this afternoon i was listening to a sermon on radio actually my mother-in-law was playing the sermon on radio it wasn't like i was playing the sermon myself and like it really it really resonated with me and i just had to share with you that's the main reason i'm like like that's the main reason i carried my phone to do a video like to vlog today because 
I just had to share the lessons from that sermon so that I can also always come back to it so I like never forget. Anyway guys, so the sermon was about Eid. I actually really like enjoyed listening to sermons. I learned a lot from sermons. And it was even a Yoruba sermon, like the after I was preaching in Yoruba. And I was just talking about the Eid story, like why we have to slaughter rams, you know. I was initially talking about how the most important thing is in the size of um ram you kill. Like as long as you're like killing a ram as like a clean around to that kid i couldn't film inside because a lot of people are around and it's not easy to get everybody to be quiet okay so the sermon was like when the prophet <laughs> when prophet ibrahim was asked Ali salam was asked to sacrifice his son he didn't flinch like he just went ahead and he was ready to do so even though you know the son made him really happy allah gave him the son and now allah is about to make him sad with the same blessing all right but he still went and he was like going to sacrifice his son willingly i just hope you guys can hear me it's really quiet here in Lorraine. it's fine but i'm trying to not now shout so that i won't be the one making noise <laughs> anyway when they were going like when he told his son his son also did not object like his son was just like he should do whatever allah allah has asked him to do like that is just so it's so deep and when they were going you guys i don't i've never read this story i'm actually just like i'm just what's it called i'm just narrating the sermon i listened to to you so when they were going the son told his father that he should you know tie his eyes tie his arms and his legs so that he's not struggling you know because i mean it's not so the son told his father to tie his arms tie his legs so that he's not going to be struggling and because his father is an old man he doesn't want to stress him like he didn't even want to come in the way of his father obeying allah at all then when they got to um you know the old setup <laughs> the old setup where he was going to um slaughter him his son then told the father to remove the blindfold from his eyes because he didn't want it to seem as if he is grudgingly accepting what Allah has said. Like, do you guys get it? Like, like he said his father should remove the blindfold because he wants Allah to know that he's willingly, like, he's willingly obeying him. Like, I'm not obeying you by force. I, like, I'm obeying you from the bottom of my heart. Like, that really almost brought tears to my eyes you guys and i know it's so dramatic but that that level of submission it's really intense i'm not going to lie like this is what allah said and i willingly completely like he told his father to remove the blindfold so that his eyes are open and it's not as if oh i'm struggling to accept this thing like i willingly accept it and then here comes the powerful part his father took the knife and was like, I don't know, what is, what is it? It was slaughtering him. Like, he put a knife on his neck, but it wasn't cutting. Oh my God. I, I know that this can be dramatic, but the story just really sends chills down my spine. Like, do you know how powerful Allah is? For somebody to take a knife, I believe the knife must have been really sharp, you know, and it's cutting something and it is not cutting. Do you get, like and then allah um sends a ram in replacement I, I don't know but for me that from that sermon the things i really took out is like complete submission to allah's will and like if you submit to allah he's able to do anything right like the man he submitted he and his son submitted completely to what allah told them to do but Allah was still able to, like, Allah still, like, made them happy as a result of their submission. If he did not submit, Allah still had the power, or Allah had the power to have maybe killed his son, like, via any other random, like, he could have disagreed, and then the son would have still died, you know? But, like, he completely agreed, and for that reason, 
Allah just paid the sun and we have a beautiful celebration. I actually did read a book on this same topic, like the real essence of slaughtering rams. And that submission just seems to be like the real key thing in this whole eat celebration. And I'm glad that I was able to like figure that out because it's like really sticking with me now. This submission thing, like actually just totally submits to the will of Allah and is able to do all things. It's going to make all things beautiful, you know. And whatever he decides or whatever he does is best. It's whatever Allah does is, is the best. So just like trust that what he's doing is the best. And this is more of a sermon for you as it is for myself. Because like I said, I just wanted to record this so that is I would never forget that I listened to this sermon. And, you know, I can always come back to the fact that like I can always come back to this and be reminded that submitting to Allah is like, is like key. That's the way really sends that story really sends chills down my spine and i wish it was a recording i would have bought a i would have bought it but it was it was playing on radio i don't think i can access it again and if you listen to yoruba alphas like there's a way they, they describe things that that sends the messages home like i really enjoy yoruba sermons it was just good i wanted to share that we are preparing for eat i need to actually run back to my crochet now because i have a long way to go i'm making like five of this although um so i'm making five of this and um i'm making everything simultaneously you can't really see the color isn't picking up but i'll probably leave a picture of the finished thing on screen or show you before sending it off i'm supposed to send off to lagos tomorrow friday and this is thursday seven minutes to four <laughs> guys i need to run I'm just actually going to close out this vlog and start another vlog when I feel much better. You can see my face also looks sick. I'm just recovering. Everybody in my house feels sick and we're all just recovering. So um, thank you for watching this vlog. I know it was all over the place, but um, I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. See you.